High tide on your next beach trip might wash up a bit of a ick factor, fecal bacteria. A new NC State study looks at how sunny day flooding, as they call it, is impacting water quality at the coast. WRAL climate change reporter Liz McLaughlin tells us more about the research and why this problem is getting worse. Researchers looked at something called sunny day flooding that happens during high tide without the presence of a storm. Sea level rise is making this happen more often and scientists say bringing more bacteria to coastal waters. Every time we come, we try to get down here. Yeah, we love it. We love the sand. Janet Reagan was thrilled to spend time at the beach with her daughter and family for an extended Mother's Day trip. We retired, so we came to visit her and the grandchild. But was unsettled to learn that scientists are finding more fecal bacteria in coastal waterways. Absolutely gross. That's news to me and a little concerning. Usually rain events are the biggest causes of fecal contamination on the coast. But higher high tides are a growing problem for water quality. When it comes to sunny day flooding, we're seeing an increase in those events happening across the coast. NC State professor Natalie Nelson and PhD student Megan Carr say sea level rise is to blame and that land sinking, groundwater drilling and aging infrastructure have only exacerbated the problem. We are seeing um, signs that this could be an increasing issue in the future since it is moving around the fecal bacteria from the pipe system to our waterways. Waders that we wear because we're walking through flood waters. Carr took daily samples over two months, including during the highest tides called king tides. About six different sorts of sensors. And she found some areas, including shallow roadway floods, were off the charts contaminated. And actually, on a couple occasions, maxed out our bacteria uh, detection limits in the laboratory. She says in most cases, the contamination levels drop down by the next day, but the results are highly variable from location to location, pipe to pipe. Now, you may have seen videos online of people kayaking through these floodwaters or children playing in the pools that can accumulate after these high tides. Probably not a good idea as researchers continue to explore the health implications of these higher bacteria levels. In Atlantic Beach, I'm Liz McLaughlin, WRL News.